Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at these three pairs of Nike boots which were match worn by England and Manchester City star Phil Foden. All three pairs feature differences over the mass produced standard retail versions of those particular models so do stick around and watch the entire video if you'd like to see all the differences that Foden had on his boots over the standard pairs that were sold to the public. So we'll start off this video by taking a look at this pair of Nike Hyper Venom Phantom 3s. This pair of match won by Foden during the 2017-18 season. And the main speciality that this pair contain is the fact that they were worn during his UEFA Champions League debut versus Feyenoord at home at the Etihad Stadium on the November the 21st, 2017. Manchester City won 1-0 on the night. They were also worn during his Premier League debut at home at the Etihad Stadium again to Tottenham Hotspur on December the 17th in a 4-1 win. So this pair do contain a lot of immense history from Foden's career so far. This pair feature his name Foden along with a St George's cross flag to the lateral side of each boot. This pair actually still have some pitch markings um, to the upper as well as the sole plate. They were worn in multiple games but those two uh, I've just mentioned were the most notable. The boots themselves are made in Italy. It's actually difficult to get the size label on camera. You may just see it there. Um, the barcode does contain a row of nines which prevents this pair from being sold on the commercial market. So it doesn't always necessarily mean that the boots are a player issue. We actually see this very commonly um, online. People sell boots with the row of nines on the barcode and assume that they are a player issue, which is actually not always the case. So this just means that the boots or the item is not made for commercial use. Um, and it's made for promotional use only. And obviously in this case, um, promotional use in the terms, in the way of uh, a professional player using them as advertisement. The boots themselves do actually feature some slight differences over the mass-produced retail version of the Hyper Venom Phantom. So the upper itself is actually much softer than what you'd find on the retail version. The heel also has a slight um, additional bit of padding in it. Not massively, but it is noticeable over the standard version. Um, so obviously these are just some slight differences that Foden got now. Obviously at the time he was a teenager and was not a very big name. so. Nike didn't actually make his boots in Montebluna like they do these days, completely custom. So whilst they were different to the mass-produced retail pairs, they weren't massively different um, in terms of the overall construction uh, and in terms of the sole plate and everything. The sole plate is identical to what you'd find on the retail version of the Hyper Venom Phantom 3. Okay, so next up we'll take a look at this pair of Nike Phantom Venom Elites. Now, this pair are where it gets rather rather special um, in terms of modifications and differences over the standard retail version of this um, model. So Foden wore this pair during the 2019 to 20 season whilst playing for Manchester City. And this is when he was really beginning to make a name for himself. He wore this particular pair in a number of matches. There are two that are most notable. One being the Manchester derby, which was held at Old Trafford. And Manchester City lost 2-0 in that game. Um, that was on the 8th of March 2020. The other notable game is the Carabao Cup final, which was held at Wembley Stadium on the 1st of March 2020. Manchester City won 2-1. Phil Foden got an assist on the night, and he also got man of the match. Now, I personally was actually at that match, and I saw it, um, and Foden's performance was absolutely incredible. He was 19 years of age at the time, and his performance was just something way ahead of his years. And to have the boots... Here in hand that he wore on that night is, is something that's incredibly special. So um, let's take a look at them up close. So you'll notice the shape straight off the bat is completely different to a standard pair. The toe boxes are pretty much flat. I mean, if you look at that there, it's, there's no sort of volume in there at all. Um, so this pair were actually handmade in the Montebelluna factory in Italy. Um, so they feature no size labels at all. The blue Hyper Venoms were a UK size 8. These are around a UK size 7.5, but obviously they're not an exact size because there's no size labels. So in terms of personalisation, this pair feature Ronnie Foden along with the St George's Cross flag. Ronnie is the name of Foden's son. Now, if we take a look inside the boots, the insole is actually a, a black microfiber on the top along with the pour-on inserts on the underside. Now, 
this model of Phantom Venom, the retail version featured the uh, Nike grip insoles, which are like a, a cheaply made um, foam. It wasn't a very great performing insole, so a lot of players did swap that out for the poor on insoles. Taking a look inside, there's further modifications. So this pair feature uh, custom insole boards, which is very common among pros boots. It adds a lot of rigidity and stiffness and this pair a lot stiffer than you would find on a standard for Phantom Venom which were actually quite a fl flimsy boot and then they've also Nike have also added a layer of padding which runs throughout the inside of the boot as you can see there so that just goes above that custom insole board providing a little bit of sort of shock absor absorb absorption now the heel shape of this pair is actually rather interesting it sort of leans back a little bit rather than the traditional just going straight up it's also a much lower cut than you'd find on a standard pair of Phantom Venoms. Now the heel of the boots. This pair in the Future Lab colorway featured a sort of silver plaque in this area here on the retail version. However, Foden's pair um, simply just doesn't have it. I'm not entirely sure what the reason is for that. Um, but obviously as they weren't being made to be sold on the retail market, it's not something that they would be too bothered about. Um, in the manufacture of this this pair because obviously the, the players are wearing from for advertisement reasons anyway um, So as long as people are seeing that they're wearing that model and colorway They're not going to look as close enough to find a, a small silver plaque on the back Now the main difference on this pair obviously you may have already spotted it is the sole plate So it's a completely transparent sole plate um, Totally different to the phantom venom one. So this is actually from the tempo legend 4 which was released in 2011 so over a decade ago now, but um, most pros that wear Nike boots are still wearing this sole plate today. They still get their boots custom made with this sole plate. It just works so well with the elite level, um, pretty much carpet pitches, the, the conical studs, the, the balance of the plate, the layout of the studs. It's not complicated. There's no silly gimmicks or anything. It's just a simple, well-performing sole plate that the pros absolutely love. So Foden actually still uses this, boot, uh, this sole plate on his boots uh, today. It's just a sole plate that many players uh, really, really get well, get on well with. Now it has been made transparent for uh, disguising purposes. So um, obviously from a distance on, on the pitch, on TV, that these studs would not be spotted because they're transparent. They do actually apply a graphic print of the retail version beneath it. It's actually hard to see on this pair considering the, the colouring of it. It's a very light grey. Um, but yeah, they do apply the graphic print of the retail version to just to make it look like the player is wearing the retail version sole plate when in fact they're just, they're just not. Um, but this is very common. We see this a lot and Nike are used to having to disguise sole plate modifications. Now there are many uh, sort of distinctive features on this pair which we were able to photo match um, to up close in-game pictures of Foden wearing the boots such as this ripple effect in the upper material here. Not entirely sure how that's been caused. Uh, it may actually be where they've applied the uh, personalization because they apply it with heat. So that may have caused that rippling in the upper there. Um, this peeling of the Nike swoosh just here, that was also uh, able to be photo matched. The, f the uh, fraying of the end of the lace, this is on the left boot. Um, and some of the pitch markings here were also present on the photo match which we uh, found from him using them during that Carabao Cup final. So obviously it makes it extremely special when you can pinpoint certain characteristics of the boots to show that they were worn in specific matches. And now we'll move on to the third pair. So these are the Nike Phantom GT2 Elites. Foden wore this pair during last season which was the 2021 to 22 season. He won them for Manchester City whilst playing in the Premier League and the FA Cup. The most notable match was, again, a Manchester derby at Old Trafford. However, this time Manchester City won 2-1. That game was played on the 6th of November 2021. Now, he actually wore this pair from early November, sort of late October, right through until March 2022. Now, again, just like the Phantom Venom pair, this pair feature a number of differences over the standard retail version of the GT2 Elite. So... Obviously you'll notice here straight off the bat again the shape is completely different. The toe boxes are not quite as flat as the Phantom Venom. It might be due to the upper being a slightly different texture, slightly different material. Um, but the toe box shape as you can see from there is just completely different. It's flat here and then rises above here. 
Um, that is due to the fact that they are made around a mould of the player's feet. So they are literally millimetrically perfect to Foden's feet. You'll notice here um, that the sole plate again is the same as the Phantom Venom Elite which you wore. So this is from the Tiempo Legend 4 again. Um, now this is a better example of Nike's sort of camouflaging uh, technique. So you'll see the print of the retail version underneath there. Um, they've actually gone as far to um, mimic the, the sort of texture of the upper which uh, on the on the medial side of the midfoot there. Obviously on the retail version this is exposed upper material because the actual sole plate stops here and it runs uh, across here so um, they've actually gone to extreme lengths to do that there but obviously you can see the, the Nike push here which is on the exterior of the sole plate on the retail version here it's actually underneath the sole plate itself these lines here are actually textured on the retail version whereas obviously here it's just literally a print to make it look like the player is wearing the retail version sole plate they've actually managed to get this line here to follow on perfectly from the upper which is actually very clever so they obviously spend a lot of money in manu manufacturing the players boots um, to those details in terms of personalization Foden has added along with Ronnie which he has on his previous pair of Phantom Venoms he's also got Becca which is the name of his partner and True which is the name of his newly born child True was not born at the time of when he wore those Phantom Venoms which we've just uh, gone through so the shape of this left boot is slightly different to the right uh, the toe box has slightly got more, uh, more volume in it, um, but nothing much um, to, in, in terms of the shape difference. Now the heels are actually slightly different. You'll notice here the left is slightly higher than the right. Again, these differences are very common when players are getting their boots made um, by hand to a measurement around their feet. So they may have one heel that's slightly bigger than the other. This is very common. Um, we see this a lot among custom players football boots okay so let's take a look at the insoles now they are the same upper material as the phantom venom however the underside is the same as what you'd find on the retail version barring the difference of the contoured effect finish having to be shaved off um, due to the internal customizations on this pair which we'll we'll go through in a second now you'll notice here the right boot say sorry, the right insole says made in Italy with the Nike swoosh and of course as they are made in the Montebelluna factory just like the Phantom Venom pair they did feature the Montebelluna logo there which states athlete service underneath now that has worn away due to use on the Phantom Venom pair both logos on the insoles have completely worn away due to use so those were worn slightly more than this blue pair here now again the interior of this boot features modifications so again that reinforced thicker custom insole board uh, runs throughout makes the boots much stiffer overall much uh, less less flexible a lot more rigid and again on top they've placed a layer of custom padding just as a shock absorber to add a bit of comfort for the player just uh, a little bit inside the boot there again the heel shape is slightly different to what you'd find on the retail version so it does come out a lot more and it's a lower heel cut as well um, again just due to that custom nature of the boots now again they do not feature any size labels this pair do measure to be around a UK 7.5 which is a US 8.5 and lastly the final difference on this pair in comparison to the retail version of the Phantom GT2 Elite is the heel so the interior heel line on Foden's pair is actually much different to the retail version so it features a lot more padding throughout and it's actually a, a softer line it's actually hard to show this on camera there we go um, so it's sort of a microfiber suede type finish um, it's a lot softer than you'd find on the retail version and the padding runs right up to here it's a lot thicker than uh, than you'd find on the standard version but this is sort of to be expected on a, a boot of this level for a, a player of that level as well so this is a very common modification we see um, of players across all brands Adidas, Nike, Puma, you name it they, they do like to add a lot of um, padding inside their heel area on their custom boots for the players and the build quality of all three of these pairs is totally incomparable to what you'd find on the retail version. Obviously they are made um, to be as durable as possible because brands don't want their, their products to be seen failing um, on the main stage, which is of course their main stream of advertisement for their products. So they do make them to the highest degree, whereas the items made uh, for the general public for commercial sale um, obviously they don't want them to last as long because the consumer won't be spending as much money with them um, ultimately so 
the pairs that you find in stores which are made in um, mass-produced factories uh, like such as in Vietnam and China the boots are made to a cost uh, and a tight budget with lesser quality materials um, lesser quality glue and so on um, when you compare the boots uh, them to the boots that are made in the Monteballoon factory and like the Adidas Athlete Services factory in Germany they, again that's totally different to, to what you'd find in terms of build quality for their retail products let us know which of these three pairs of Phil Foden's Match 1 boots you would pick in the comments. The blue Phantom GTs are unfortunately sold out. However, the Hyper Venom Phantom 3s are available on our website at www.bcboots.uk. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.